Between question and answer, hunch and knowledge, fantasy and physics, there lies the experiment. On today's episode, we send our intrepid young researchers, Jacob and his sister Erica, out into the field. Their task, to determine the amount of energy in a bale of hay. Energy is all around us, but it can be tricky to measure. It's contained in all the objects here. This mug, the donut inside it, and my brain. We can only measure energy by the effect it has on objects around it. We can release energy by burning things, and we can see the effect of that energy by using a technique called calorimetry. Calorimetry is the process of measuring the gain or loss of that heat energy. Whenever we observe one liter of water warmed by one degree Celsius, we've measured one big C calorie. You mean like the calories in food? Exactly. The calories on food packaging represent the amount of energy stored in the food. If you put one liter of water under the sun and it warms up by five degrees, you've just measured five calories of the sun's energy. When anything warms water, that means there's energy we can measure. <laughs> yes! Now go forth and gather the data. <laughs> oh man, they're just like little kids. <laughs> they are little kids. True. So how can we figure out how much energy is stored in this hay bale that we're feeding them? We were able to measure solar energy by seeing how much sunlight would heat water. So maybe we could set some of the hay on fire to heat water. Yeah, in fact that's what these goat machines are doing all the time. What do you mean? Here, feel. It's warm. Is that the same kind of heat we'd release if we burned the hay? Heat is generated by breaking down the chemical bonds in hay. So you could release that quickly by setting it on fire, or you could release it slowly by digestion. Whoa! So goats are like little machines powered by slowly burning hay fires in their bellies. Exactly. Whereas cars get their energy from gas, these goat machines get their energy from hay. So can we set some hay on fire to measure how much energy it takes to run a goat machine? Well, we could, but we have to be very careful. Oh yeah, we'd have to carefully measure up precise amounts of hay and water, and then we'd have to carefully track the temperature over time. No, no, I'm talking about fire safety. Alright guys, you want to see a sped up version of what's going on inside a goat's stomach? Yeah, yes. Alright, here we go. Wow, there's a lot of energy in there. Let's try and measure it. This is the amount of hay that one goat eats in one day. I have five of these one liter bottles of water. Every degree that the water goes up will represent five calories from the hay. We're at 28 degrees now. So, let's see how we can get it. Let's do it. Wow, 48 degrees. Got real hot. Well, it got warmer. It's much warmer. Yes, it is hot now. The first time we measured the temperature of our water, it was 28 degrees Celsius. Then after we heated it with the hay fire, it was 48 degrees Celsius. That means we were able to raise 5 liters of water by 20 degrees Celsius. And we know that raising 5 liters of water by 20 degrees Celsius is the same as raising 1 liter of water by 100 degrees Celsius. And we know it takes 100 calories to do that. 
So that means we were able to measure 100 total calories in a goat's meal. We measured 100 calories in one serving of goat meal. But there's actually 16 servings in every bale. So that means there's, we measured 1,600 calories for a whole bale of hay. I don't know, that seems a little bit low. When we were burning our hay fire, there was a lot of energy escaping out the sides. So this is actually an underestimate, but we know there are at least 1,600 calories in a bale of hay. Come on, Jane, come on, Monique, let's go <laughs> to Boston. <laughs> In fact, Erica and Jacob let more than a little energy escape unmeasured. They found 1,600 calories in a bale of hay, or about four donuts. According to my calculations, there are over 80,000 calories in a bale of hay, 200 donuts. That's a lot of donuts. But do not despair, for when it comes to energy, there's one thing of which we can be certain. While it may change forms, energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's out there, and perhaps we'll find it in our next experiment. <laughs>